they're off. Racing away then, and as they leave the mile start, Alzir a little bit slow into his stride. Dick Turpin's one of the first to show. Lord Zenith with the noseband racing prominently. Red Jazz is towards the stand side with elusive Purp uh, Pimpernel, and also with these is Orzan. Greyfriars Chorister in the blue and orange is the royalty front rank, and also Fencing Master with the white cap. Fair trade off to the left in the very pale jacket is followed through by Buzzword. So Nicholas Abbey is about fifth or sixth of the moment only a length and a half off the leaders they head then down towards the halfway stage dick turpin in the black and red leading in the center to fencing master gray fries chorister fair trade is followed by buzzword on the extreme left red jazz and orzan on the right just in behind the leaders so nicholas abbey just in length in behind those then al's here and behind this mcphee and they're being followed through by extension then comes inler then comes hearts of fire canford uh, cliffs is towards the back of the field struggling it's the early stages, Elspeth's boy and also Audacity of Hope. They're approaching now the bushes and as they do so Dick Turpin, St Nicholas Abbey is asked to come now on the far side. Fencing Masters there, Red Jazz, Elusive Pin, but now the stand side. Behind those is Extension as they head down into the dip now and it's Dick Turpin leading to Extension in second place. Fencing Master in third, McPhee with a noseband in the centre coming home very strongly. Inside the last furlong, Dick Turpin in front, McPhee's moved into second position. Canford Cliffs in third. McPhee, though, is going to win it for France with Christophe Lemaire. McPhee won to Dick Turbin in second place. Canford Cliffs in third. And extension ran fourth. They're off, they're racing then, and Dubawi Gold is slowly away from the gates for this. Kipco 2000 Guineas, Frankel got out well, Roderick O'Connor, and towards the near side, rerouted uh, with Frankel, who's gone on. Franco leads to rerouted in second place. Native Khan, Casamento, the blue jacket nose banded is going to chase through. Re Roderick O'Connor just in behind. Native Khan taking a prominent position. Jubawi Gold, happy today, have dropped out towards the rear of the field. But Franco is already four lengths clear. He's heading down now towards the last half mile. And it's Franco and Tom Queeley by five or six lengths to Casamento in second place. And then rerouted in third. Roderick O'Connor and Slim Shady and Native Khan just just in behind those. Samin comes next and then comes Brooks. Jubabi Gold is still at the back of the field, but at halfway, Frankel is almost 10 lengths clear. They're heading then down towards the bushes now. Frankel continues to be in a massive lead to Casamento in second place and then rerouted behind. That is par four. Jubabi Gold coming from the back of the field, but at the bushes, Frankel is 15 lengths clear. Frankel is heading down the towards the last quarter mile. He's making every yard of the running here. Jubabi Gold and Native Khan have moved into second and third places. Par Fork is behind in third place. Into the dip. Frankel continues to be in front. He's six or seven lengths clear. To Jubavi Gold is coming to second. Native Khan in third position. Inside the last furlong. A horse who is pure class. Frankel has destroyed them from halfway. An amazing performance as Frankel heads towards the line to make every single yard in the Guineas and win it well. Jubavi Gold in second. Native Khan in third. Slim Shady is just in fourth. And Fury in fifth. So it's the Kipco 2000 Guineas. Your classic commentator is Richard Hoyles. Camelot's just gone forward. That will leave us with Hermival as the last one to be installed for the Kipco 2000 Guineas. And they're off and racing. And from the stalls, they look as if they may well split with Coupe de Ville, Aptal and Ptolemaic heading over to the far side in company with Hermival. A Talwar leads a trio up the centre, which are made up of Casper Nitcher and Saigon, whilst Trumpet Major leads the largest group just off the rails ahead of Born to See Who's Quite Keen. Then we have towards the uh, right in that group as well, Redact in company with uh, Fencing, who's in that group behind the speed, in company with Red Duke as they make their way through the first furlong. Camelot is in the right-hand group towards the rear of it early on. So Aptar leads the quartet over on the far side in a fragmented race with Coupe de Ville, Hermival and also Ptolemaic in that group. The trio down the centre still being led by Talwa who gives a lead to Casper Nitcher and Saigon. At the moment the group on the far side and at the centre have a lead over Redact who heads up the main group with Trumpet Major born to see. Then fencing top offers just behind the speed in that group in company as well with Red Duke French 15 Camelot still towards the rear of that group as they're on down towards halfway. So now the near side group beginning to try and draw alongside. Trumpet Major fencing top offer on the right. Red Duke being produced with Born to See. Casper Nitcher coming over to this 
near side group over on the far side. Aptar leads Hermival there. Saigon's a little marooned out in the centre of the race course, but he's still there front rank. Casper Netcher has moved through to lead the Guineas with Trumpet Major. Over on the far side, Hermival and Aptar lead over there. Behind these, Saigon, French 15 staying on. Camelot is now making good progress to come and join the leaders on the near side. Over on the far side, Hermival, Camelot and French 15 on the near side. French 15, but Camelot is knuckling down. Camelot nosing to the front and driven out. Well, win for Joseph O'Brien. Camelot comes of age, beats French 15. Over on the far side, Hermival was next home with Coupe de Ville probably four. So all set for the Kipco 2000 Guineas and they're off and racing. Reasonably good line. Gloria Waits over on the far side is first to break the line there. Lettermore stand side with Toronado and Dawn Approach both racing handily early on. At the moment, they're staying out towards the centre. Lettermore is the one that disputes the lead. On the far left is Gloria Waits, who's racing solo. Toronado towing up the main body of the field with Dawn Approach, George Vancouver and Cristoforo Colombo, all relatively well placed in that group. Wuha Jim comes next, just ahead of Don't Bother Me. Mars Van Denier, correspondence keen towards the rear of the group as indeed is Garswood. So out in front, Lettermore leads the main body of the field by two to three lengths and possibly just has the overall lead, although Gloria Waits is not that far away over on the far side. Toronado, as they splash to the water left by that heavy storm, is in third place ahead of Dawn Approach as they're on down towards halfway. Lettermore with his rider checking where the main body of the field are. Gloria Waits in second over on the far side. Dawn Approach in blue and Toronado in grey have been side by side throughout. Don't bother me, pushed along then Vandenier. Mars trying to improve with a white face. Christopher Agal Lumbo has a lot to do from there. Likewise pushed along is Garswood. Now two furlongs out. Toronado and Dawn approach. Lockhorns, the big two, move past Lettermore. Gloria Waits still running a blind rover on the far side with Vandenier. Dawn approach the blue. Toronado in grey. The unbeaten horses with Gloria Waits for a shot over on the far side. Dawn approach asserts on the climb up the hill. Toronado now under pressure. Gloria Waits is back in third place. It's Dawn approach who's two to three legs clear in the guineas. Gloria Waits running a blind rover as Toronado runs out of puff. But Dawn Approach, 7 from 7, wins the kick 2,000 guineas. An important success for Godolphin, Jim Bolger. And in second place... First classic of the 2014 series. The all-clear is given. And they're off and racing. Straight away from the stalls then for the Guineas. Kingman is allowed time to find his stride. Two or more is angling over without strip over towards the stand side of the course. Shifting power is also coming stand side and we're going to have a difference of opinion here. Uh, meanwhile over on the far side, Nuso Canarius leads up over there with Charm Spirit. Kingman has ended up in that far side group with the Grey Gatsby. Knight of Thunder's rider has a look around to see who is with him and book runner as well. Meanwhile over on the stand side, two or more is headed right over towards the near side right Shifting power, his stable companion is another who's racing prominently with Ertijal, Australia not too far off that group, in company with Outstrip as they continue their progress on down towards halfway. So impossible at this stage to line up the two groups. Meanwhile, Stanside Two or More has the overall advantage on this uh, near side. Luzo Canarius continues to tow them along over on the far side. Kingman is still towards the rear of that group. The Grey Gatsby is in that group as well. Two or More still prominent with company with shifting power over on the near side as they make their journey now down inside the final couple of uh, furlongs. Still two and a half furlongs to travel. Australia being produced to come and try and close on the near side with shifting power and two or more. Kingman is moving forward over on that far side group who is still headed by New Canarias. They run downhill and into the dip. Australia and two or more stand side with shifting power over on the far side. New Canarias and here's Kingman exploding for the far side group. Kingman's come through to lead that group with Night of Thunder. Australia under the near side rail. Night of Thunder drifting over Australia and Kingman, they're wide across the course, Kingman might have done the dives and I think won the guineas, I think might have done the wide up to floor Kingman and Australia and shifting power, it will go to the judge. They're forward, they're ready, they're off. A race away then for the Kipco 2000 Guineas as they begin their journey. Home of the Brave is one of the first to show as they split to two groups. Cool Company on the left leads up there to Estid Carr. Iverwood, Ride Like the Wind. Room Key is with that group as well. On the right, Home of the Brave leads there to Interlark and then comes Glen Ormond. Dutch Connection is in behind those. Glen Eagles is towards the right-hand group in the blue and 
orange jacket Mahidas towards the rear of that group. The group on the left, but Old Man Rivers just about at the back there, Code Red and Celestial Path are well back in that group as they head down towards halfway. Cool Company then on the left leading up to Estid Car in the blue and white. Iverwood and Room Key with those and right like the wind is next. On the right it is Home of the Brave on the running rail to Glen Ormond and then Dutch Connection going smoothly in third position. Interlark Glen Eagles and Capella San Severo. The next group of runners territories is off towards the right as well in the blue jacket as they head down past the bushes now and it's home of the brave uh, leading Glen Eagles and Dutch Connection begin their challenges ST Car is there, Interlac, Ivor Wood towards the left as well with their challenge and Glen Eagles now Ryan Moore and Glen Eagles come towards the stand side, Territories is out after him, Ivor Wood down the centre of the course, Glen Eagles to Ivor Wood in second place Bossy Guest running a huge race Glen Eagles in front, Territories trying to reel him in. Glen Eagles though and Ryan Moore have won. Territory second, Iverwood in third. A great run from Bossy Guest home in fourth and then came Celestial Path. There is no fillies in this lineup. It's over a mile. Let's join Richard who has the call. Kipco 2000 Guineas Field loaded away. 13 of them facing the starter and they're off and racing. In the first classic of the season, a relatively level break, Galileo gold well to the fore over on the far side. They are splitting into groups. Ripchester is going over there, and also towards that far side is Baratino in company with Kentucky Connection, and they are going to be joined now by Zhu Feng. Meanwhile, up the centre of the race course, first selection leads Massart, Marcel, Air Vice Marshal, and also Air Force Blue in the all-blue colours alongside Zonderland. Stormy Antarctic, the chestnut with the white face, held on to towards the rear of the field in company with Herald the Dawn. So in two groups they make their way through the first three furlongs. Stand side first selection leads Air Force Marshal, a vice marshal with towards the outside in the blue and white colours of that group, Massart. They now merge together with Zhu Feng and Galileo Gold towards the far side. Air Force Blue in the dark blue in midfield at the moment with Marcel as they begin the run down and head towards the bushes. Zhu Feng, Galileo Gold, Massart comes next. First selection and then stand side Air Vice Marshal. Air Force Blue just pushing along in midfield now, Ryan and more with Marcel. Uh, Stormy Antarctic's also making ground towards the far side. They reach the cutaway. A lot of chances. Galileo Gold Maroon Cat battling on Massart behind these Ripchester and won't be winning Air Force Blue. They head down with a furlong and a half to go. It is Galileo Gold who leads down into the dip. In second is Massart, then Ripchester. Air Vice Marshal towards the far side, but out in front is Galileo Gold in the guineas. Massart is two lengths in Galileo Gold's wake and pushed out towards the line. Frankie the Tory won the guineas and a first classic for Hugo Parler. Galileo Gold beat Massart, Ripchester next. as we join Simon Holt for the first classic of the season. They're lined up for the Kipco 2000 Guineas, and they're away. Top score misses the break. Al Wukaya is restrained early. Out on the far side, Law and Order quickly away. So too Lancaster Bomber tracked through by Churchill. And on the near side, Spirit of Valor, the early pace doesn't look overly strong. Lancaster Bomber leading to Spirit of Valor. And then Churchill, the O'Brien team, first, second, and third. Law and Order towards the left, tracked through by Eminent. And then Al Wukaya in the Silver Silks, just behind Barney Bort. Roy in the all blue jacket. Larchmont Lad is in the red, white and blue on the stand side on the right and out the back is Dream Castle smothered up in these early stages and then Top Score who was slowly away and so steadily they go down the Roly Mile in the Kipco 2000 Guineas, the first classic of the 2017 flat race season and Law and Order alongside Lancaster Bomber in the blue cap, Churchill in the blue and orange stripe cap getting across to the rail no bad place to be, Eminent is out wider and they're followed by Barney Roy Larchmont Lad behind these then Spirit of Valor Awu Kair further back in the field from Dream Castle and top score they approach the final two Churchill on the right Lancaster Bomber with the white blaze Law and Order Eminent on the wide outside they're followed through by Barney Roy who took a bad step then top score and Spirit of Valor they race into the final fellow and a half into the dip Churchill on the stand side under Ryan Moore the Dewhurst winner leads the Guineas field up the hill followed by Lancaster the bomber out very wide. Awu Kair is running on well with Barney Roy. Churchill near side clinging on. Barney Roy thrusting with Awu Kair, but Churchill has won. Churchill wins the guineas.
they're off. A getaway then, Massar is fast out of the gates, headway is dropped out to the back of the field and Card Sharp and Raja Singh are the first two to show. Marillo's up there as well from Massar Elakam, third or fourth in the early part of the race, tipped to win and James Garfield are just in behind him as Marillo, Wayne Lorden with that white cap leads to Card Sharp on the extreme left, following him Raja Singh and also Raid. Massar is about one from the right, blue jacket racing ahead of Roaring Line and Nebo as Card Sharp is left by himself as Raja Singh and Raids come and join the others. Gustav Clint in dark blue is just in behind Elakam down the center. James Garfield is next from Saxon Warrior in the middle of the field. Headways the back marker. Raid just ahead of him and the noseband of Expert Eye is next as already. They come down past halfway in the Kipco 2000 guineas and Murillo leads to on the left Card Sharp. Elakam's a length and a half behind these. Massar and Gustav Klimt are together fourth and fifth. Saxon Warrior behind those. Roaring line comes next and then comes Nemo to Games Garfield. Raja Singh is in behind those. They're heading down now uh, inside the closing stages. Ella Kam has come to join Murillo. Massar three from the right. Roaring Lion on the right coming into it strongly and now Saxon Warrior down the centre coming with a big challenge as well. Roaring Lion is nearest to us to Saxon Warrior down the centre. Massar behind those. Tip to win is staying on in the closing stages. Heading up towards the line now it's Saxon Warrior in front from Roaring Lion tip to win Massa behind him but Saxon Warrior has won by a length and a half with Donica Brown to tip to win Massa Elakam and Roaring Lion And they're off, racing away. They've all jumped out of the stalls happily. Shine so bright on the extreme right with Magna Grisha uh, going off slightly separately with King of Change. On the far side, Emirati Anna has gone off very fast indeed. Leads by three lengths to ten sovereigns who's handy. Then Azano in the green jacket, followed by Kick On. And then on the far side is Mad Moon down the near side. Dark Vision from Sporting Chance. Urban Icon behind them. Advertise likewise as well. Al Hilali towards the back of the centre field group. Emirati Anna racing isolated. Far side. Azano now leading down the centre. Shine so bright is clear of Magna Grisha towards the stand side followed by King of Change. Chasing the leaders in that uh, centre field group. Kick on is very handy. Uh, so too Sporting Chance. Dark Vision. Skardu trying to make some headway. So too Set Piece. Ten Sovereigns is still right there as well as they head on now inside the final three furlongs. So they're spread wide apart. What's leading? It could be Shine so bright on the stand side from Magna Grisha and King of Change. Emirati Anna is coming back to them down the centre. Skardu making progress. One from the left on the extreme left set piece. Ten sovereigns now driven along by Ryan Moore and takes over down the centre. Meanwhile on the stand side Magna Grisha gets past Shine so bright and chased by King of Change. They race inside the final furlong. It looks like Magna Grisha on the stand side. Ten sovereigns on the far side. The two stable companions chased by Skardu far side. Side. Magna Grisha this side. Magna Grisha's out in front. It's a 10th 2,000 guineas for Aidan O'Brien. Donna O'Brien on Magna Grisha from King of Change. Skardu possibly third on the far side. Mad Moon running on well.